This is a muskox. What is a muskox really? Welcome to this beautiful planet. My name is Alan and today we're talking about muskoxen. The musk oxen are found in the Arctic. They're native to the United States, Canada, as well as Greenland. However, they have been reintroduced to Russia and Alaska. A small population have also been introduced to Norway, and some herds have even moved on their own into Sweden. The musk oxen usually weighs between 180 and 400 kilos, but the average mass is around 285 kilos. Their body lengths are between 150 centimeters and 260 centimeters, and the average is around 210 centimeters. The musk oxen are considered a harem breeder. This means that one male will try to mate with all the estrous females in a herd. In late summer into fall, the males will compete for dominance, and the dominant males will try to keep the harem of females away from other males. The way the males become dominant is by fighting other males. And they do this literally by rearing up and running at each other at full speed and then just slamming their heads into each other. It's quite brutal, but this is, this is how the musk ox does it. So the dominant male is the one that wins the, the feist, I guess. However, he needs to still control his harem because some of these males are clever and they will sneak in and try to mate with the female anyway. The breeding usually happens from late August into September and the females give birth between mid-April and mid-May. So if you did your math there, you, you're correct that the gestation period is around eight months. Usually only one calf is born. Sometimes they have two but the death rate for two calves is pretty high. Within 45 minutes after the newborn calves are born, they're actually able to stand on their own and nurse from their mothers. And when they are born, they usually weigh between 9 and 11 kilos. So they're quite big already. The calves are dependent on their mothers for milk, warmth and protection. And they actually stay with their mothers in the herd for quite a while. And if something tries to attack a calf, because some predators are big enough to take down the calves, the whole herd will actually help to protect all the calves in the herd. So what they do is uh, they place their calves behind them, and then they form either a semicircle or even a full circle if they need to, for, for example, against a wolf pack. And they stand in front of the calves as kind of a protective wall. So if you're a predator, it's quite the intimidating sight. The average lifespan for female musk oxen is 15 to 18 years old in the wild. And some actually live to be over 20 years old. The males, however, only typically live 10 to 12 years due to the strenuous breeding season. You know, all that fighting and mating is quite strenuous for these males. During the summer, the musk oxen will live in smaller herds, sometimes as small as with only five individuals. But in the winter, these smaller herds will join together and form larger herds with up to 60 individuals. Musk oxen are generally pretty slow moving creatures, but they can actually run up to 40 kilometers per hour or 25 miles per hour. But since they do very easily overheat, they do tend to stay pretty, uh, pretty static and don't move very quickly. Currently, the musk oxen are listed on the IUCN red list as the least concern. However, their population trend is decreasing. Thank you so much for watching. If you 
like the video, feel free to let me know in a message or in the comment section. Uh, also, if you want to learn more about the muskox, I left my sources in the description. And feel free to let me know if you want me to do a, um, a more in-depth video about the muskox. And I'd love to do so. And either way, I hope you enjoyed. See ya! Beautiful planet. My name is Alan, and today we're talking 